Heidler Live is a powerful tool from New Blue FX that lets you create and integrate live data-driven graphics into your broadcast. Today we'll be giving you a brief introduction to Tidler Live by creating a title from scratch, as well as exploring some of the key features of Tidler Live. Tidler Live is compatible with most major broadcasting software, including OBS, Wirecast, and any switcher with NDI or HDMI inputs. After installing Tidler Live, you can add it to your broadcast in most software programs by selecting it from the list of available inputs. This process is different depending on the broadcast software being used, and the tutorials for individual programs are covered in the output section of this tutorial series. Upon running Tidler Live for the first time, you'll be greeted with an interface consisting of four panels and an undocked window. The Input and Designs Library, Attributes Panel, Playlist, Preview Window, and Live Monitor. Any of these windows can be moved, resized, undocked, or even disabled to match your workspace needs. To create your first title, simply open a folder in the design library and drag it onto your playlist. You can manually adjust the parameters of many templates such as text, color, and images from the attributes window or directly from the preview window. Once your title is complete, play it in and out manually by pressing the play button. The playlist is used for managing multiple titles in your broadcast, which can be added or rearranged by dragging and dropping. Additionally, you can press the plus button above the playlist to create distinct lists for multiple channels, each of which can be used to send separate outputs to your broadcast software, depending on your version of Tidler Live and your software's compatibility. In addition to inputting your data manually, Tidler Live comes equipped with a live data-driven input system that automatically populates relevant fields based on your selections. For example, to add live Twitter posts to your stream, open the Social tab in the Inputs library and drag Twitter tweets onto your playlist. This will automatically open the Social Pro tab where we can refine our search parameters such as only finding tweets with specific tags and then pressing Get Comments. Now when we click the play button on an individual tweet, our title will be automatically populated with the relevant information. In addition to the inputs library, you can drive data into any title by first selecting a design, and then selecting the input of your choosing from the inputs dropdown. By selecting the clock input, we can create a new timer of any length, modify our text from within the preview window, and then click show inputs and drag the clock variable onto any text to turn it into our countdown. This process of making text and variable changes from the preview window makes it easy to repurpose any existing template to fit your needs. Social media followers, comments, clocks, scoreboards, RSS feeds, all of these use the same process of choosing a design, choosing an input, and finalizing your title within the preview window. And finally, Titler Pro gives you the power to edit any template or create a new template completely from scratch using the Title Designer, which can be opened by double-clicking a title's preview in the playlist. The Title Designer offers a complete suite of editing tools ranging from text, animation, sounds, variable controls, and much, much more. This video covers just a few of the many things you can accomplish using Titler Live. To learn more, visit newbluefx.com today.